Hello, my name is Randy with R Squared Renovations. I'm a general contractor and electrical contractor in Dallas, Texas. Today I just wanted to give you a few ideas and reasons why you might consider upgrading your electrical service. Um, if you're doing any kind of remodel, especially kitchen, new appliances may require more electricity than what you had in there before, or the addition of new outlets, especially in the kitchen or bathroom. Basically, everything new requires more electricity than it did, you know, if your house was wired in the 50s or 60s or really even the 70s. If you have an old breaker panel and your circuit breakers look like this with the old orange uh, handles on there, <coughs> these are prone to not tripping when they're supposed to. This is a 15 amp breaker. It's supposed to kick off when the circuit draws more than 15 amps. This particular brand is known to never trip, could be drawn 100, which is prone to, you know, basically fires. The other thing is, older panels, they look like this, but they're not very large. And old circuit breakers, not very many, when houses were wired in the 40s, 50s, 60s, there just wasn't as uh, big of a requirement for so many circuits as there is these days. Here we have, uh, this is about a 3,000 square foot house. You can see there's uh, 60 circuits in here, which compared to this old panel that may have had 20, even in a 2,000 square foot house, that's still not enough by the standards. One other thing that is new is, uh, this is called an arc fault circuit breaker. These are now required under the 2008 National Electric Code, which is basically prevents any kind of arc, you know, if there's any arcing or sparking or anything like that on any of the circuits, whether it's something that's plugged into an outlet or a faulty wiring, this will trip out again, you know, causing the loss of power will prevent a fire, essentially, is what this is for. Basically, um, in your average 2,000 square foot house, um, going from a old 60 or 100 amp service panel up to a 200 amp. It's been running somewhere around uh, about $3,000 to $4,000 just depending on how much work there has to be done to bring the rest of the house up to code and 